In this video, I'll show you how to create a lookbook for your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, this is the lookbook we'll be creating. Okay, okay. so firstly we entice in users in with our hero image and then here we get to sell the overall look, right? So here the idea is creating a modern home office and here in the hero image, you've got a better idea of how everything will all fit together, right? And then ideally I'd add a few more um, different um, inspirational images just like this, just so the customer gets a better idea of how it will fit into their life and routine, okay? And then as we scroll down, we've got the individual products, which we've actually included into our imagery, right? So if they want to buy the basket, they can go ahead and buy that one, the magazine organizer, the drawer and so on. Okay. And if you wanted to remove this um, add to cart button, you can do, but it makes sense since we've captured their attention and imagination, it makes sense to allow them to purchase the individual items within this lookbook. Okay. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to wcsuite.com. Go ahead and download the WC Suite product bundle. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded a WC Suite product bundle plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. From here, we just click activate, entering your license key, then it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. And then from here, from the add-on section, we can go ahead and enable product bundles, okay? So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create our lookbook. So we'll navigate to products. Okay, so to create this, it makes sense to create the child product first, and then afterwards we'll create the parent product, which will be the main lookbook. From there, we can include all the child products, okay? So just to give you a visual representation, this is the parent product, which we're on. And then all these individual products is the child product, right? And then obviously this one's the parent one. So first we'll create the individual products, such as the basket, the magazine organizer, the drawers, and so on, okay? So let's head back over to our dashboard board here and then for example we can add the basket product right so in your case you'll just click add new let's delete this and then we'll just add it again okay okay so we'll just click add new okay and then we'll give it a name we'll add our featured image so you can just upload the image just click upload here and then just upload the image okay i'm going to go ahead and select this basket image we're going to specify our category so i've already created an office category in your case if you need to add a new category just click add new here and add your category okay so i'm going to set this to be 19 dollars okay okay so now we've added our price let's go ahead and add a bit of short description okay so you just want to add a bit of descriptive information about the product so let's hit publish and that's our child product added and you just want to do that for as many um products that you're going to include into your lookbook okay so I'm navigating back to all products here and then now we'll create our parent products so in your case you'll just click add new again i'm just going to edit this one in which i've already created okay so again just like before we just want to enter the name so again this is our lookbook name then we want to add our product image okay and then we can add some gallery images okay and here where it says product data, we just want to go ahead and select bundled product. Okay, once we've selected bundled product here, then we'll see bundled products here, okay, on the side. For the template, we can choose, we've got two options. So I'm just going to use the default option. Okay, and then now I'm going to quickly delete this. And then we get to choose how we want to add our products to our lookbook. So we can choose the product individually or we can add a products. So we can add all products from a particular category or a particular tag. So I'm going to select products here and then I'm going to search for our basket product. Okay, so I'm going to add this one and then I'm going to search for our magazine organizer. Okay, and that's all the products added to our lookbook. Okay. For the price display, I'm going to select a range, okay? And then I'm going to leave these settings all to default, okay? So we're not going to enable the add all to products and we're not going to hide the add to cart button for the individual products and we won't hide the quantity field neither. We won't hide the price nor will we hide the description. We will hide the bundle up sale notice, okay? So we'll set this one to yes and that's it. So we can just select our category here. So here I've created a new category called lookbook, okay? I've added some short description here, okay? To describe what's going on in our lookbook. And then we can just go ahead and hit publish in your case, but in mine it's update. 
So now when we view our product, here we can see our lookbook, okay? So as I said, the customers, they can get inspiration from your lookbook. And then whenever they're ready to make a purchase, they can just scroll down and then just purchase the individual items, right? So for example, if I like what I see, let's say, for example, I wanted to buy this um, desk organizer, we can just add it to our cart. Okay, and then we can just check out as normal. And that's a quick and simple way to add a lookbook in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.